What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Kyrie Irving has been trending a lot lately for his stance uh, on who are the real uh, people of Israel, uh, supporting the Hebrews to Negroes movie. And then, you know, you have all of you brothers out there who have been quite upset at my commentary about Kyrie Irving, about Kanye West. Okay. Y'all have been upset with me. And of course I win again, right? A lot of you brothers out there are feeble minded in your thinking, but it's okay. I still love you. Then we have another story that has occurred. Unfortunately, Shanquilla Richardson. And of course, she passed away due to some of the Pokesha friends that she was hanging around in Mexico. So how does this happen? How do we combine both of the words or the worlds? Well, Shanquilla Robinson, okay, was gifted $65,000 by Kyrie Irvin. Why was she gifted that? Now, it's true Kyrie Irving is a nice person, a very generous person, but I don't believe that is the case. That is the case. I'm going to tell you why I believe Kyrie Irving gave that money. And for me to go into that, I'd like to go to go black to Africa. Go Black to Africa is a YouTuber who is going to explain about supporting people like Kyrie Irving and Kanye West. Let's go ahead and play that clip. I'm saying that, yeah, we should stand for Kyrie and also Kanye. But my thing of it is that we're going to support them for what? To go back into the system? Go back into the belly of the beast? Or are we going to be there by their sides when they walk away? Now, that's support. When you support somebody, when they've walked away, they sever the umbilical cord, standing on their own feet, showing the path, showing the way that we can do for self. Because at the end of the day, if we are there to support them so they can get bigger contracts, they can become a puppet, they'll become a stronger force for the system, it does nothing for anybody. But he who walks away, and thumbs their nose at the system and says, I don't need you, is a powerful Pan-African person that can show the world that we have the power, not them. So we've heard what, we, what he had to say. Now, what am I dealing with here? I'm dealing with a concept. Kyrie Irvin gave Shanquilla Robinson that money because he ended up letting you guys down because he apologized. He issued another apology to the so-called untouchable community. I'll tell you what he says. I just want to apologize deeply for all my actions throughout the time that has been since the post was first put up. I've had a lot of time to think, but most, but my focus initially, if I could do it over, would be to heal and repair a lot of my close relationships with my Jewish relatives, brothers and sisters. He ain't talking about no black Jews. He said he has a learning journey. Wanna know why? Because he can't get no money with y'all. Hmm? All you brothers out there that was talking all that crap and all of that stuff, and you know, you, you know, y'all come from us. We are the real people. All that stuff. Okay, then then why why he can't get no support from you? Because he can't get no money with y'all, right? But furthermore, him donating that money to Shanquilla Red Robinson was a, I'm sorry for. It turning my back on y'all which really if you think about brother Kyrie it's 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 it's, it's what he should have been doing in the first place because let me tell you why some of you all here have you know that in the black community we don't have no power right now we don't have no power so now if you want to criticize people with more power than you you're going to lose I don't care if you're right, if you feel you're right in the argument, you're gonna lose. So if you're gonna lose, 
you know you don't have no support. Why are you even talking about it when you know you're going to end up saying, I'm sorry? What is the reason? What's the reason? Go Black to Africa just said it. What's the reason that y'all are doing that? You're making all this noise, all this fuss to, 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 to go out here, be a fake activist for two weeks only to come back and apologize and then make yourself look bad. So now let me go ahead on and get some cool points with the black community so I don't look so bad. When, if that's the case, why are you even talking about it when you're going to fold anyway? See, this is what y'all want to do. Y'all want to be able to have an ability, you know, for one day or so to make yourself feel better about your situation and get hyped up. Y'all don't like you want to talk about Dr. Umar hyping up or the Honorable Louis Farrakhan hyping up. And some of y'all take me for being a Louis Farrakhan hater. I am not a Louis Farrakhan hater. I am critical of him to a certain degree. I believe a lot of the things that he teaches and, and some of the things that he's uh, done has been magnificent. In other ways, not so much. Same thing with Elijah Muhammad. All right. I'm just going to be real. Nobody's perfect. He is not above being criticized like nobody else. He put his shoes on just like everybody else. He walks up, he gets up and, and, and puts his pants on. He's a man just like me. He ain't, he ain't got, all right? But we're going we gonna to have to, uh, we're going to have to work together as a group, of, uh, as a community so that our people don't have to keep apologizing for stuff you feel is right. And the reason why you got to keep apologizing for stuff you feel is right is because we don't do the work. Okay. I'm going to take this opportunity to educate our people. Listen, let's stop worrying about these other groups that you feel are culture vultures. Let's stop worrying about these other people. Y'all mad at the whites, Asians, or some of y'all upset with, you know, the untouchable community, the European Jews. How about we, we take our focus off of these people and start to worry about our opportunities? Your mind is much better focused on that. When we, if we were to take our ingenuity and worry about our own people, what our people can do to come together to solve issues in our community, man, we would be a powerful group then we would be able to compete with the world. We have a lot of opportunity in the black world. We need to deal with our people. We need to be focused on our people. Stop the show. That's why I have the Pan-African Dating Show to focus on our people. Make sure you guys go over there and follow. I got a new episode today that's dropped and probably already dropped by now, but go over there, subscribe, hit the bell. I got almost 4,000 subscribers right now. Take me to 5,000 players. Subscribe to the bell. I'm going to, I'm matchmaking the whole black world. And that's an example of what I'm talking about. We have to have community oriented solutions that focus on us and stop being so triggered by other groups. Focus in on us. Then when we start to get that power, we can solve the other stuff because now we can put our power on other people like other folks put their power on us. Stop criticizing these other people when you're going to end up apologizing in the first place. It don't make no sense. If I know that such and such group is doing X, Y, and Z, I come out here and say it, then, then I'm going to get penalized and none of y'all ain't going to have my back. Just like y'all ain't got Kyrie Irving back. So what's the point? You develop your people so you can come back at a certain time. It might not be this lifetime, but your kids will be able to have a better situation. That's why the Atlanta Compromise by Booker T. Washington, I was a big, uh, a big fan of that. Some of y'all don't like that. But if we would have took Booker T.'s philosophy, now WWE Du Bois has some great stuff too, but his philosophy made a lot more sense because Booker T. Washington philosophy is the philosophy the Jews have. Develop your people, develop your industries, then you start voting later when you have all the power. But we don't want to do that. We want to complain with no power. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. We're out. We're out.